and gone by was world news. Now, it's nearly two years since the COVID-19 virus was first found in Wuhan, China. It has gone on to become a pandemic, the biggest and most destructive the world has seen in a century at least. More than 200 million people have been infected the world over, with nearly 5 million dead. Here in Ghana, more than 1,000 people have been affected and over 100,000 with over 100,000 infections. These numbers notwithstanding, uh, there are still doubts by some if this is real at all. John Yusuf's Justice Bedu went to find out why in a documentary that shows later tonight. Here's Exit. <laughs> A serious thing. You can be whoever you are. You see yourself sweating, breathing become an issue on you. You are sweating and struggling with your bed. It's, it's a sickness which normally affects only the whites, but not the blacks. More than a hundred thousand people have been infected by COVID-19. Over one thousand people have died in a year of unbearable restrictions and lockdowns. Many are still not sure how this pandemic drama is going to end and yet many more say everything is still a hoax in this documentary i will be finding out why all the people here were killed by covid so the whole stretch from the entrance to this place is earmarked solely for COVID body burial. The moment you enter here and we bring your body here, it's COVID. The weeds, you see all, the weeds and the storms all stand on COVID graves. The whole of the place, stretching from down there, you can have a look to yourself. Stretching from the entrance there to, this, to the end of that forest there, COVID bodies, COVID graves all. My name is Joseph Abugri Asetanga. I was born in the Upper East region, Zebila. Joseph Asitanga does a job many people would not want to do. He's the head of the team of environmental health workers who bury people killed by COVID-19. He works in Accra, the epicenter of Ghana's COVID-19 fight. More than seven out of ten COVID-19 deaths happen in this city. The whole of Greater Accra region here, if there is COVID body anywhere, it's my team that goes to do the burial. It will bury no less than 300 to 400 Greater Accra alone. I think we have buried more than 400 bodies in Kodome Cemetery here and other cemeteries. It's a very difficult job and the men who do it are extremely challenged. But they brave the odds, hoping that their work would go to show that this disease is real and kills. When we come in, why we use the siren at its higher peak is another form of educating and sensitizing the public that what sort of body is a gun, uh, AMA carrying and they are blowing the siren like that. So the moment you turn to the car, you see my people, hey, this is COVID, Corona, Corona. And they start running away. So they get back, they also tell their people that, hey, the COVID, today I saw the Corona people, they call me Corona man. As a human being, you only take medication when you are ill. For example, you take a headache medication when you have a headache. So as I do not have a headache and I'm being asked to take a medication for a headache, I won't do it because I am not sick. 
There were some videos that came out that we shouldn't take the vaccines. The vaccine kills and it's not good that the whites want to eradicate the blacks and some videos that came out so it puts them off.